Good evening. Welcome back to Family Moments. I'm so excited to be here with you all. We have a really fun night planned. I'm really excited about our game tonight, and we will give you all the time you needed to set up, but just a heads up, you are going to need some petroleum jelly, like Vaseline, and a bunch of cotton balls and a couple of paper plates. Are you excited yet? It's going to be so awesome. I'm super excited. But first, it is my privilege to introduce our outstanding worship team who are going to lead us in song. Let's join with them for a moment of worship. Every heart that is 
and Andrew, that was awesome. Kids at home, do you guys remember singing that song in contemporary worship? I love that song. All right, it is time for a moment of fun. It's time to play Nosedive. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Every family member is gonna need a plate full of cotton balls and an empty plate. And then you're gonna wanna put a dab of petroleum jelly or Vaseline on the end of your nose. And when we say go, you're gonna 
dive in and try to move as many cotton balls as you can from one plate to the other using only your nose, no hands allowed. So the family member that has moved as many cotton balls from one plate to the other at the end of a minute is declared the winner. Sound good? All right, if someone in your household is videoing this or taking pictures, we would love for you to share them with us so they can be featured next week at Family Moments. So you can email them to the email address at the bottom of your screen. All right, if you need to pause the video to get set up, go ahead and do that and then meet us right back here. Okay, it looks like everyone is all set to go. We're gonna put one minute on your screen. Best of luck to all you nose divers. Ready, set, go. Okay, that was just as awesome as I imagined it would be. I cannot wait to see your videos and photos. All right, let's welcome back our worship team one more time who's gonna lead us in song. Oh, 
beautiful music. All right, now it's time for a moment in the word. Tonight our message will be coming from Pastor Drew. Welcome, Pastor Drew. Hey guys, it's great to be with you here at Family Moments. Sarah, nose dive. That was a, wait, do I still have cotton ball on my nose? Okay. Uh, it's great to be with you here at Family Moments. Um, you might notice that I'm outside tonight. Well, today, whatever it is. Um, I love being outside. I love the, the sun and all that goes with it. But you know, when we start hitting these triple digits, which is what, was it like 111? What is that? You gotta be a little careful. So, you know, when you go outside, first thing you do is put the sunscreen on, protect your skin, and then uh, even though not always cool looking, but they're helpful, you kind of put the uh, stylish hat on. Oh, that's looking good, okay? But most of all, what you do is you hydrate. In other words, you drink a lot of water. You gotta hydrate, you gotta drink water because your body just doesn't work without having the water. And so keep doing the water. Uh, now the reason I'm sitting here, I don't know if you can see it, but behind me I got, I planted five new plants in I think it was February. And when I did it, I, I dug up the soil, I put some new soil, good soil in there put the plants in there and then fertilize them and water them and then every day I would come out and water well most days I would come out okay whenever I remembered I'd water them the problem was was that sometimes it was I forgot you know well sometimes it was gone and and but a lot of times I just forgot so I'd come out and the plants would kind of you could see the kind of kind of start to wither a little bit so I put the water in and it's like you see the they're just uh, they'd come back and so I really tried to be faithful in watering but um, uh, it was a problem and you know it's interesting we're kind of like those plants sometimes listen to what it says in Psalm 121 it says the Lord is your keeper the Lord is your shade on your right hand the Sun will not spite you by day or the moon by night. In other words, what the Psalms is saying is that God does a lot better job of taking care of us than I do of our plants, my plants. And my hat, I don't know if this is you know, shade by night, but God wants us to trust him to know he's gonna take care of us. Now, how does he do that? When we we'll accept Jesus into our heart, it says the Holy Spirit comes and dwells within us and becomes, John says, a spring of living water. Now, for plants, what's that mean? It means put in irrigation pipes. If you put in irrigation pipes, then you set the clock and every day the water comes. I don't have to remember anything. The water just comes. It's faithful every day. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, now I know it might be hard to see, but see that little black pipe in there with the red lid? And see the water dripping from it? Well, it comes on every day. And that water dripping in there is what gives life to this plant it's from the irrigation system, but it's connected to the source, all the water it needs. Hey, did you notice? You know what those are right there? Those are brand new baby leaves coming up. This plant isn't just surviving, it's thriving. It's doing awesome because it's connected to the source. It's connected to the water that gives it life. 
Okay, I don't know if you can tell, because again, it's kind of small like that red head, but if you look close at the plants, you're gonna see there's new leaves coming out. They're actually, not they're surviving, they're thriving because they're connected constantly to that source of water that's coming to them. Listen to what it says in John chapter seven. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta make sure you hydrate. John seven, verses 37 to 38. Now on the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out saying, if anyone's thirsty, let them come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture says, from his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. With this he spoke of the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For the Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. In other words, when we believe in Jesus, and as we stay connected to him, he springs up with us in living water. The Holy Spirit gives us life, gives us joy, gives us everything we need. And what we need to do is just to allow God to do his work within us. The Holy Spirit's there, and he will give to us life. So this week, maybe ask, how are you doing being connected to God? Now, we talked about it a little bit a couple weeks ago. Are you in his word? Are you praying? Are you in worship? Are you in fellowship? Are you just each day sitting up and saying, Jesus, I love you. And then let him love you. Let him pour his Holy Spirit upon you. Have a great week, you guys. Thank you, Pastor Drew, for that message tonight. It's such a blessing and word of encouragement. Would you all at home please now join me in a moment for prayer? Heavenly Father, during this season of social distancing, we can feel so alone and disconnected. We know that we are meant to be in community with others, and this necessity to stay apart is hard and exhausting. Help us remember that no matter what, you love us and you are near. We can hold on tight to you and know that we are connected. And when we feel that connection to you, we can not only survive, but we can truly thrive. Lord, please wrap your loving arms around all those joined together tonight so that they may feel your calm and strength. We give you thanks for this time together and for so many daily blessings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday and then right back here next Thursday. Have a great week.